Hey everybody, today I'm going to be demoing for you using a Citrus Ready Workspace Hub with a Philips Hue light system that I bought from Amazon. And this one's in the important one to get because it's got the bridge, that little square in the middle of it. Um, and then, you know, four light bulbs uh, with, that come with this thing. Now the first things first, uh, there's an app on your phone you can use to control the system, but obviously I don't want to use my phone, I want to use my Workspace Hub. So there's a couple things I need to do uh, first. I need to log into the Workspace Hub. In my case, this is my IP address for my Workspace Hub. And I'm gonna enable Node Red. So to do this, I need to go to Services, Node Red. I need to turn it on. So we're gonna hit Save on that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and reboot my Workspace Hub. So we're gonna do a reboot. And it's rebooting. So the next step I need to do in this process is I need to create a API key uh, that I'm going to put inside of Node Red so my Workspace Hub can control the light system without going through uh, some special app. Now to do this, um, you have to log in. This is now the IP address of the Philips Hue bridge, a little square thing. Uh, so when you unbox yours and plug it in, you'll need to figure out what your IP address is, but then go to forward slash debug forward slash clip.html. Once you're here, this is the exact screen you will see, and we need to do a few things. So we're gonna start by typing in new developer, and we're gonna do a get request on that, and it says, hey, that's an unauthorized user. That's fine, we just wanna make sure that we are communicating with the device, and at this point in time, we are communicating with it. So it's passed its first test. So now we just wanna go slash API, and we're gonna copy a body of code, copy, and put it in the message body, paste. Now, if you want to know where I just got that from, I'm actually following the instructions uh, written up right here. Oh, there it was, um, right here. So I'm basically going through these instructions for you. I'll post the link in the description of this, uh, but I'm not gonna keep flipping back and forth to that. You can just follow me along here. So with that, I'm gonna do a post request and it says, hey, your link button is not pressed. So this is a security measure where now I gotta go push the button on the bridge, which I just did, I'm gonna post again, and I now have my API username. Now, on your end, you, you're gonna see that blurred out because that is basically my username and password, uh, and I don't want you guys to have access to that, uh, so I'm gonna blur that out. But I am pasting that into a Word document that I have uh, for this demo. So with that, I'm done on the Philips Hue side. I now, using an API key, I now can take control of it from Node Red. Let's uh, take, a, take a look to see if our uh, machine is rebooted. It has, so it's, I'm logging in. And now that Node Red is up, I'm gonna go to the same IP address, 1, uh, 121, but I'm gonna add 1880 after it. And there it is. So this is still the Workspace Hub, just to make this very clear. This is still 1.121, you can see this is 1.121. This is the management side of it, and this is the uh, Node Red side of it. So what I now need to do is create a workflow uh, to enable um, my uh, connect event. My Citrus, when I'm Citrus casting and I'm connecting, I want that to do something. Uh, and disconnect, I want it to do something else. So we're gonna start by dragging in an HTTP request. And I'm gonna just call this thing connect. It doesn't matter what I call it, by the way, but it's a post event. And uh, it's gonna, yeah, that's fine, done. And then we're going to create another post, another event for disconnect. We're going to call that disconnect. And that's a post. Done. All right, so basically I created two, uh, the beginning part of my thing, there's going to be a post of a connect and disconnect. Now what, what's posting? What's going to do that? Well, let's jump back over to the management side of the Workspace Hub. Let's go to connections here. Let's go to the Workspace Hub connection. Click on Workspace Hub one layer deeper. And there they are, workflow connect trigger, workflow disconnect trigger. So what I'm gonna put in here is the local IP, so 127.0.0.1, that's the same IP you should be using. Um, and then we're gonna add uh, forward slash uh, connect uh, to that. So, uh, all right, no, sorry, I knew it was something else. Uh, 1880 forward slash connect. Okay, so that's the connection flow, and then I'm gonna copy, paste, and I'm gonna do a disconnect, and I hit save. So what I like to do is I just like to jump back out, go somewhere else, go back in, and I just wanna make sure that's saved properly. Hit edit, workspace hub, 
And there it is, 127.18.80, connect. Now, keep in mind, 18.80 is node, node red. That's, again, what you're seeing up here. And then we've created, this basically is a post trigger. Um, so it's going to post to connect, and it's going to post to disconnect, which now we have that, there's the connect, and there's the disconnect. Now, let's just make sure this thing works. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put HTTP response of 200, which just means everything's good, done. Uh, so I don't care if it's a connect or disconnect. I just want to uh, post that everything's good if we're doing that. So I got to bring up Postman real quick. Uh, this is just a simple tool you can download uh, off the internet uh, to do exactly what I'm about to do. I'm going to post. So instead of me taking out my phone and, and triggering a connection or a disconnect event, I'm just going to do it myself manually. So there, I'm connected to 121.18.80, and we're going to do a connect. And it's a post event. And we're going to hit send. And it, it's working. Oh, I got a 404 not found. And you know what? I know exactly what the error is. I forgot to hit deploy. I always forget to hit deploy. So hit deploy. Now it's deployed. Now let's try that. 200. Okay, perfect. So now let's test the disconnect. DIS. Send that one. 200. Okay. All right. So using that, I now already know that this, this is working and that it got a response to there. But obviously that's not what we want to do for the demo. We want to turn some lights on and off. So we're going to go up to Manage Palette and install, and you're going to type in Philips. And here you can see mine's already installed, uh, but you'll have to click installed on yours. Uh, once that's installed, you'll get this, uh, you'll get all the uh, modules for this thing. And what that does is if you scroll down here, now you have the modules. All right, from here, we're going to drag in a light and going to double click it. And it says, hey, I need, to, I need to add a new bridge. So we're going to hit edit here, and we're going to type in that IP address of that bridge I believe mine was 1.125. Just to double check, I'm going to go to it, 1.125. Yep, there's my bridge. Uh, so I'm on the right bridge. And then that API key is the thing that we did earlier that I copied and pasted into a different uh, WordPad. I'm going to blur this out so you can't see it. And then I'm hit Add. And now I've got control of that Philips Hue system. And for me to verify, if I hit this little search button here, boom, it just showed up four of my light bulbs which is exactly what I wanted to see. Um, so I'm just going to control light bulb one here and I'm going to hit done. So now I know this controls light bulb one. But thing is, if I connected here to here, nothing's going to happen. We haven't actually told, we've got the trigger working, but we haven't told it what to do, right? And we have the thing over here. So we need to put something in between these things to actually control uh, how we want the thing to work which means I got to drop in a function. Um, this is the one part of this system that took me a while to figure out. I actually had to uh, reach out to a friend, uh, but I'm going to save you some trouble that I had in that I have already uh, figured out exactly what to paste in here. So I'll paste it in. And basically, I'll teach you kind of what this is doing in just one second. So let me click here real quick for you um, and scroll down here. So what you're seeing with this is it's basically saying, hey, there's this message payload and I'm looking for certain values. So if it's on, that's going to be a true or false statement. So on is either false for off, true for on. RGB is a, an array, which, you know, give it your RGB array, and it's going to change that color. There's a lot of other things I can do. I can change brightness, uh, transition time. I can do all kinds of stuff, which is basically what I'm now doing with this function. I've created this message payload. Function on is true. RGB is this is red, zero red, and zero blue, but 100% green. Uh, means when I do this, it's going to go green. So I'm going to hit done on that. And now I'm going to connect it. That connects to here. That connects to here. Before I go to the next step, I'm going to delete that connector. I'm going to hit deploy one more time. All right. With that deployed, um, I want to, first off, I'm just going to go in here and change the name of this to green, uh, since that's what it's green, because I'm going to make the post or on the disconnect change to red. So we're going to repeat the work we did before, uh, bring in a function. Where's my function? There it is. And I want to have that uh, nice clean response. So we're going to do a 200 response. Done. Connect there to there. All right, so a bunch of things I now need to do. I need to repeat the fact that we want this to talk to the first light bulb. So we've got the 
that part done. And now we want to uh, copy the function uh, that we did up here. And we're going to paste it down here. This time we're going to make it go red. So instead of 100% green, we're going to make it 100% red. Done. All right, so now on a disconnect event, the light should turn, turn the same light red. So we're going to hit deploy. And now let's uh, bring up Postman here and let's do a connection event and see what happens. So send. My light was already green, so maybe it wasn't the best uh, thing to test first. So let's go disconnect, hit send. And my light has turned red. And now I'm going to do a connection event. I'm going to hit send. And my light turns green. All right. I just want to make sure things are working. Yep. All right. So instead of green and blue, I did it this way for a reason. Uh, I'm now on this on and off. Done. Deploy. So I did. So I did this so you can actually see it on the screen here. So it says turned on right now because my light's on and it's red. Um, but I'm going to go back to Postman and just make sure everything works here. So disconnect. This should shut my light off. And my light just turned off and you can see it update in no red. And then we're going to do a connect. Send that. And you can see it turned on, turned on. And it's red in my office because that was the, the last state of the light was red. So it's just every time I turn it on and off, it's just going to turn on and off as a red light. So disconnect that event. So that's working fine. So the final piece to this puzzle, I already know posting it from Postman works. So now the question is, what happens when I disconnect? So I'm going to do a disconnect right now on my Workspace Hub, which I know you can't see it, but I did just disconnect it. The light is off, but the light was already off. So now the question is on connect, which now I'm not doing it with Postman. I'm just allowing Citrix Casting to do its thing. And on the next connection, we'll see if the light turns on. Yep, I can already see it on, on Node Red. It's turned on. My light just turned on. And my Workspace Hub is connected. So light's on because I'm connected to my Workspace Hub. I'm going to do a disconnect right now. Light just turned off. And you can see it update in Node Red. So that's it. That's everything you need to know uh, to connect um, a Workspace Hub to Philips Hue. I know this is a longer video, but it's technical in nature. I hope uh, you got a lot out of it.